In a previous video, I showed a super easy way to add a highlighted chat to your live YouTube stream. You know, a bit like this. It's cool, isn't it? And the response, well, the responses have been absolutely great and really, really positive. But what if I told you that now, ladies and gentlemen, now it's even simpler and better than before? Let me show you what it's all about. First of all, a massive shout out to Aaron Parecki. Shout out to Aaron Parecki, the creator of the Chrome app that makes all of this possible. He's now updated and improved the simplicity uh, in terms of how to use the app and the versatility of the app to make it even more simple to use. And he's fixed some areas that could have done with some improving in the first place. So brilliant. Let's go through them. If you didn't watch my previous video on how to apply the YouTube chat highlights to your main live streams, then feel free to give that video a watch. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below where I take you through all the basic steps. But bear in mind how we use it in OBS has now changed. But I'll recap it all here and show you all the differences and, and how to install it. Okay, let's get on and I'll show you how to get it all set up so you're good to go. Okay, so this utilizes the Chrome browser. So you need to be using the Chrome browser for this for it to work. And what we need is a Chrome app. So you need to go to the Chrome App Store. Okay, and the app you're searching for is called the Live Chat Overlay. Live Chat Overlay, there it is. And the one you want is this one by Aaron Parecki. Aaron Parecki here. It's the sort of black and white one here. Uh, added, it says. It's been recently updated. Okay, so you click on that. And then you need to install the Chrome app. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. If you're not sure how to do that, then check out my uh, previous video where I show you how to install the Chrome app. When you install it, it will ask you to connect to your YouTube channel. This obviously needs to be the YouTube channel that you use for your live streaming. So whatever YouTube channel you use for live streaming, make sure you're connecting this app with that. So you'll need to give it permissions to do that. Once you've done that, that's all great and dandy. And then up here in the corner on the browser bar here, you should have it installed. So you see, I've got things like the Honey app. No, the video is not sponsored. And then here, the live chat overlay. What you need to do here, click on here, on the three dots here, and then go to options. And then it will bring up the various options. Now you can tweak these options. And then this is quite good to know if you want to change the color of the background and things like that. But the key thing you need to do here, if you're using it with OBS, and that makes it super cool and, and it makes it look really good, is you'll have in here, see the background color? You need to type the word transparent. It's all you need to do. It may already have in there uh, hashtag 1111 or hashtag 0000 or something like that, which is a white, I think it's hashtag four zeros, which is a white background. What we want is a transparent background. You don't need to do any chroma key or anything like that. Just type the word transparent and scroll down to the bottom here and then click save. Probably won't feel like you've saved it, but you, you are saving it because uh, it doesn't really indicate with a button there, but you are saving it. So when you've done that, close it up. That's all you need to do. You can close down uh, the extension overlay options and all of that kind of stuff. Close down that bit. Next stage is you need to go to your YouTube studio, your YouTube studio. So that's when you're in YouTube and you're ready to go live, ready to stream. Click on that button that we use uh, when you're ready to go streaming. Takes you to the YouTube studio here. You don't have to go live or anything for, to test this out and get it up and working. Um, that's the key thing here. As you can see, I've got some chat in here already, which I put in earlier so I could do the intro to this video. Anyway, the next thing you need to do up here in the chat section, you'll see the three little dots, the three little dots. Click on that. And then you see here, pop out chat. Click on the pop out chat and the chat will miraculously pop out. Now, this is the fundamental difference from last time. And this is the important difference. And this is what makes it so good. Last time we captured this window 
and then put that in OBS. But we don't have to capture this window because it meant you had to sort of get the best sort of shape of it and then adjust the window and then you couldn't move this and all of that. What you need to do now, up here you'll see this added bit here called Get Overlay. Click on that and then it gives you this URL here. So you want to copy that URL, okay? And then you're good. And then just, you need to keep this box open. You need to keep the pop-up box open, but you can minimize it, maximize it. It doesn't matter, but obviously you need to have it kind of open because you're gonna be clicking on the various chat uh, for the purposes of highlighting. But anyway, you've copied the URL. So next we need to go into OBS and then get it all set up. So let's do that next. Okay, so here we are in OBS. And what we need to do is uh, create a scene. I like to create a scene. So all you need to do there, if you're uh, familiar with OBS, is come down to here, press the plus and create a scene. And you can call that scene anything. Now I've already created one, but you could call it live chat overlay whatever you want to call it. Now, I've already created one, which we're going to use, uh, but you just create uh, a scene, a new scene, and then click OK. So I've created one here called Live Chat Overlay. Let me just take this out so we can start from scratch. So here's the scene, Live Chat Overlay, and now we need to add a source. And as I said, we're going to be adding a browser source. So press plus, then uh, click on Browser, uh, and then we can call it live chat. Press OK. I've already got one in use because I've done a load already. We'll call it, um, we'll call it live chat highlight. Okay, so live chat highlight in this particular case. I've already done one called live chat overlay, but for the purposes of demonstrating how to do this, I'm setting up a new one called live chat highlight. Press OK. Then we want to change the box size to match your screen uh, resolution. So in this case for me, it's 1920, 1080p. So it's whatever resolution that your, your main, this main screen behind you that you're outputting to is. Uh, in my case, it's 1920 by 1080. Get rid of the custom, uh, get rid of the custom CSS. Don't need that. And then in here, the URL, we're going to paste the URL that we saved from earlier. So just paste that in. There we go. And then we press OK. And then you have this um, slightly scary black screen. But have no fear. I'll drag it in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Just make it a bit smaller. If we go back to the pop-up box, when we click on this, you can see the chat pops up. Okay, so it's functioning. Just click on a chat, shout, there we are, and it pops up. So we know that it's working. And we don't, you know, it doesn't matter. We can, you know, make this box different sizes, all of that, it doesn't matter. I can reduce it. As I say, I'm going to put it on the other screen now. Let me just um, clear that. So we've created the live chat highlight scene. So next we want to add that scene to our main scene. So for instance, here's me, here's my main scene. Now I've already added one from earlier, the live chat screen scene here. I've set it up, but it's whatever scene that you've just created is the one that you want to add. So you go here, add scene you know as i say i've already added one live chat scene just get rid of that then if i bring the if i bring the chat back here when you click on the various chat there you see it's just popping up clicking on the chat and it just pops up exactly where you want and you can move this box about and all that kind of stuff it doesn't matter make it different sizes it has no effect so if you need you know you want to you want to fit it on a screen somewhere that's a bit smaller. You can squish it up. It has no effect on the way that it's laid out. And it'll even, you know, accommodate up to the 200 characters that you could put in a chat. It'll automatically fit it all in. If you wanted 200 characters, it fits it all in like that. And there we are, you're good to go.
And of course, when you want to stop highlighting the chat, just press the clear. So as you can see, super, super simple. So when you go live, you're ready to go. You've popped out your chat. You've placed it on your various screens, wherever you want it, ready to go. You put the URL in OBS and you're good to go. And then whenever you want to highlight anybody's chat, you just click on it. And it's got some nice designs in there. If somebody gives you a super chat, if you've got super chat enabled, uh, then it comes up with a slightly different design, which is really cool. And it's a great way to highlight things like super chats and things like that, uh, which is really, really cool. But as you can see, super, super simple to use. If you want to change any of these colors, uh, so you see here the background for the person who's uh, put the chat out there, um, you can simply do that in the Chrome app. I'll quickly show you how to do that. We go back to here to the, the, um, the Chrome apps. Remember, if you click on your little sort of Chrome apps bit up here, go down to chat overlay, the three dots, options. And then you'll see here the options here for author name color. So I can change the name of the author, background color, author background color, which I've, you know, I can change to a different color. So you can find a color. If you know what the hex number is or anything like that, you can simply add those color, the chat message background and all of that. Super, super easy to change. Um, there's even a, a, a range of fonts and stuff like that, but really easy. Uh, to kind of alter the sort of look uh, to fit in with your kind of branding and style if you want to. I'm pretty impressed with the colors they already have, so that's pretty cool anyway. But if you want to make changes, you can just do it there. As I say, chat message background. Uh, if I put in, I don't know, one, 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 is it? Save that. Let's have a look, see what that does. If we go back to my plane. That will only work when you kind of reopen it and start a new um, URL and a new chat and stuff. So uh, it's worth the kind of experimenting if that's what you want to do. So for instance, if I close that down, pop out a new chat. Oh, you need a new, I need to put the new URL in. Now if I click on the chat. I'm going to plain. You see? Now I put in, I've made the background completely disappear. So you can change it like that if you want and just kind of uh, um, up your game a bit and make some alterations if you're really cool. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then do me a massive favor. Please, please hit those likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And do me the honor of please subscribing, toggle that notification bell so you know when I go live with content like this. Thank you for spending your time with me. Any questions, let me know. Cheers.